Greetings and salutations, everybody. Hope all is well. <clears throat> Listen, I did not dress up for uh, this particular live because I just I just thought about something that I wanted to come on just to kind of uh, touch bases with you all. Um, there is there was something I just woke up with this morning, well today, and I wanted to just ask the question because I want people to understand. And not to even be scared, but y'all, this is our church. All y'all that are Church of God in Christ, used to be Church of God in Christ, this is our church, right? This is our church. Let's ask those questions because what we need to what we need to try to get to understand is that a lot of us who are sitting in the pews do not have a voting voice. So we have to deal and talk. Hey, what's up, Deanna? We got to talk to the people who do have the voice for us. And we have to make sure that we are treated properly and we are treated fair. Because at the end of the day, all around the world, we want to know what's going on. We really do. We want to know what's going on. Hey, Samantha, Dante, what's up, everybody? We want to know what's going on. And I don't think that it's fair. Can I walk today? I don't think that it's fair to be a part of a church that you love so dear and so much. Hear me? And you don't have a clue what, what's going on within your own organization. I don't want to just be a part of an organization where people are making decisions for me. And I don't get to say nothing. Hey, Iowa, I don't want to be a part of an organization where I find out things last minute. What's up, cousin? I don't want to be a part. Of, I want to be a part of something where the leadership cares about me, too. Y'all, that makes sense. I want to be a part of something or I am a part of something, but I want to be a part of something where the leadership cares about me. Is that so much to ask for? Is that so much to ask for, Tony? Ooh, I got hiccups. Is that so much to ask for? Is it so much to ask for that I want to once again be able to look up to leadership? Is that so much to ask for? Is it so much to ask for that that as a as a fourth generation man in the church of God in Christ that I want to see my church have a legit educational system is that so much to ask for is that too much is that too much to ask for don't be listen listen here bishops near and far and right over here in Americas don't be scared of me Please don't. Hey, auntie, don't be scared. I'm asking the questions that everybody else got. So, Marco, I'm asking these questions because it's important. It's important. Why, Why do I have to go outside of the church to get an education when everything I need should be right here. Matter of fact, honestly, everything I do need is right here. The education that I need, the Church of God in Christ has it. We have the people in this church. What's the problem? Why can't we build on what we have? I'm, I'm just saying, why can't we build on what we have? Why can't we take the people that's in this church and legit put them to work. Come on now. Coaching folks, this is our church. This is our church. Asking these hard questions is not wrong. I don't care who's in. I do care. Let me take that back. I do care. I do care who's in the seat. But at the end of the day, what are you going what are you going to do for us? What are you going to do that's going to change the trajectory of what we've been dealing with and how are we going to move forward? 
how we gonna move forward? Y'all, I'm on a detox, so I'm gonna be drinking my smoothie. Ooh. How are we gonna move forward? What what is the next generation of Kojic people? <clears throat> what are we what are they gonna be subjected to? If you don't like what I'm saying, you just you just don't like it. But I'm gonna tell you just like this. I don't like walking around stupid. Y'all ain't talking back to me. Okay. Y'all not talking back. I don't like I don't like walking around stupid. Okay? I don't like walking around stupid. And for those of y'all going around talking about all oh, Mario being so hard on Bishop Porter, let me tell you something. I know Bishop Porter. I know and I, I love Bishop Porter. That's just that's my personal opinion about Bishop Porter. I think Bishop Porter's a great man. I think Bishop Porter is a great man. But I have my opinions about him being the presiding bishop. That's my opinion. That's my thought. Okay? My thought. What's up, James? Do y'all get on set? Like, like, at the end of the day, people are walking around here, James, scared to even have a conversation with me because they're so concerned about their position within the church. But it's like, you if you got a position in the church, you should want better. And I know I'm talking, right? You should want better. You should want this as much as we say with our mouth, this is the greatest church in the world. This should legit be the greatest church in the world because not that we just talk about it, but we have proven facts, proven statistics that we support our people. Yes, Mother Porter passed on yesterday. We should have proven statistics and records that we not only have good church, but we have educated people in this church. We have, we have, we, we, we make sure that our leaders are taken care of in this church. That's what should be said about the church of God in Christ. That's what should be said about the church of God in Christ. Not all this other stuff. And if you think, if you think for one moment that I am wrong for what I'm saying, there is something wrong with you. There is something wrong with you. Who, for real, who, who is Church of God in Christ on here? Because I know I am. D, I know you Church of God in Christ. You said, why not Bishop Porter? So here's the thing. And this is just my opinion. Okay, JW, you right here in Florida. Are you coaching? <laughs> Are you coaching? JW, you, you coaching? I'm waiting for an answer. Let me sip on my drink while I wait. Orlando, I know you coach. We, boy, we cousins. I don't think he ain't gonna answer the question. Anyways, I said I didn't think I didn't think that Bishop Porter would necessarily be a good presiding bishop. Let me expound upon that. Because Bishop Porter can be a tyrant. Okay. Damon, Bishop Porter can be a tyrant. Bishop Porter is about himself a lot. And that's real talk. He's a great guy. Don't get me wrong. He's a great guy. But Bishop Porter is, is self-exorbed a lot. And I'm just looking at, okay, how would that play out 
into the national church. I've seen what it looks like in the regular church. Y'all don't act like I'm lying. Don't act like I'm lying. Don't act like I'm lying. My Memphis folks, they know what I'm talking about. We love Bishop Porter. Honey, we love that old short, big eyebrow man. Everybody always talking about I look like Bishop Porter because we both got big eyebrows. And we got this full beard and mustache thing. No, I love Bishop Porter. I do. He is really a fun guy and goofy as heck. But I'm talking about when it comes down to certain things, Bishop can be a little self-absorbed though. You know what I'm saying? Like for real. But I think when this time comes, his time will come and I think he'll be an awesome leader. Period. <laughs> Daddy, for real. Y'all know we got these, we got these big old bushy eyebrows. <sighs> yes, did he used to be my pastor? Absolutely. Absolutely. Hey Thomas. And I left his church not because of what he did, but I left his church because it was something that I was doing and I didn't want anything to fall on him. You know what I'm saying? Y'all know when I said I came out, I didn't want that to be on him. I didn't want him to be attacked because of that. You feel what I'm saying? Not that it was a bad thing, but I just knew the church. Period. So here's what I'm saying. J uh, James, Talmus, y'all, we, I, I don't care what nobody else say. I do believe that we are a part of one of the greatest churches in the world. We've been around a long time, but we cannot treat this big organization like a storefront organization. Say that one more time. We cannot treat, hey Kim, we cannot treat this organization like a storefront church organization. This church is right up under the Catholic church. And we cannot be just as big as the Catholic church treating this church like it's a storefront ministry. People that come into this organization should not be fighting. He does throw a lot of something on the shade. He does. People that come into this organization should come into this organization because it has great Potential, not just a name. Not just a name. See, because this is the problem with, with all every everybody, including us. And that is this. Y'all folks get confused. Y'all. The I. Here's the thing. Y'all get it confused because y'all think y'all denomination is right. I do not. Let me tell you something. There, can, can we make this plain today? There will not be one denomination or whatever in heaven. When we see him, he ain't going to say all y'all apostolics, y'all come on into heaven and everybody else go to hell. That's not how this is going to work. That's not how this is going to work. He's not going to say, all y'all coaches come on in and everybody else, you go to hell. That's not how this works. Oh, you got to know the God here. Da, 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 da. This is what separates us. This stupid ideology, this is what separates us. Can I, can I make this plain, James? This is what separates, this is what separates the Kojic from the apostolic and the Baptist and the, and the Presbyterians and everything. But let me, let me go a little step further. Let me go a step further. And that's this. Do you not know that before there was a Kojic, an apostolic and all this other stuff, that the Catholic church was going to war with, with Protestants and Presbyterians? And it was all out war in this world to rule and for the Catholic church 
to dominate the world and for it to be the main religion. Hello? Make that make sense. If you were not Catholic, if you are not Catholic, they put you in prison or they put you to death. And they said, if you were not Catholic, you were doing witchcraft or you were working for the devil. That's history. And so everything that we are right now is a part of the Catholic church. Come on here now. Come on here now. Everything that we do is a part of the Catholic church. The way that our bishops and everything dress, it's a part of the Catholic church. Oh, I got something else for you. They oppress people. They oppress people through the church. They made you feel bad and they said God is watching and this and that. When it was nothing but oppression. It was nothing but oppression. Oh, sure, I can take a right turn and start talking about the homosexuals, but that's for a whole nother day because I don't want you to lose your focus. I don't want you to lose your focus. I don't because what I'm saying is facts. I don't care who you are. I'm talking to my church right now, okay? I'm talking to my church right now and my church is at a pivotal point point. If we do not get it together, I don't care whether you're, you're Kojic in China. I don't care whether you're Kojic in Africa. I don't care whether you're in India, Australia, Europe, wherever it is. We are at a pivotal point. And if we don't get it together, we are going to lose. And if the church folks at large, Christianity at large, baby, you, you're going to lose, period. The people have grown weary and they're tired. Somebody has got to stand up for righteousness. Somebody has got to feed God's sheep. Kim? Thomas? Somebody has got to feed God's sheep. We're speaking in tongues and lying in English. And we're still leaving the house of prayer empty. And we're tired and we're frustrated and we're wounded and we're battered. And there's still no healing that is taking place. Jesus said, Peter, feed my sheep. Feed my sheep. Feed my sheep. How do you feed the sheep? Kim, how do you feed the sheep? You feed the sheep with the life that you live, with helping them along the way, being a good Samaritan. Making sure that when you got, they got. Not just take it from the people so that you could live, so that you could eat. <laughs> Hello? You know what a good shepherd does? Do you know what a good shepherd does? A good shepherd makes sure that the sheep are taken care of. Make sure that the sheep are protected from the wolves. Come on here now. Don't make me pull out the app. A good shepherd, 
A good shepherd makes sure that if there are predators around in the in the area, that they that the that the sheep are protected. How many times? And I'm talking to y'all bishops. I'm talking to y'all pastors. I'm talking to y'all somebody's of somebody who want to be somebody. How many times have y'all went after the lost and you have not made fun of them because of, they didn't look like you? You didn't make fun. You made fun of them because they didn't dress like you. They didn't do like you. They didn't act like you act because God said, no, Jesus said in the New Testament, he said, I have other sheep. He said, I have other sheep that are not of this fold. Them too also are mine. If we're going to lead God's people, let's lead them right. Let's lead them right. Let's lead them right. See, y'all get so caught up in the gossip and the tea. Y'all get so caught up in the gossip and the tea. But y'all, you forget that God is watching. Maybe y'all, maybe y'all have forgot. <clears throat> maybe y'all have forgot that we still have to answer one day. Maybe you don't believe no more. I still believe. I still believe in the power of God. I still believe in miracles. I still believe in miracles, signs, and wonders. Period. I still believe it. I still believe, Gail, in miracles, signs, and wonders. The reason why we don't see miracles, signs, and wonders anymore is because we have lost our way. We have lost faith. We have lost trust. You go into a church where there is high faith, high belief, high trust in not, not the preacher, but in God. You're going to see dead being raised. You're going to see the lame being healed. You're going to see the sick being healed. But it's, it's not there no more. It's not there no more because we have a trust issue. We have a trust issue, Kim. We got a trust issue. I'm gonna tell, and here's the other thing. I'm gonna tell you the reason why we got Kim Browns and we got Leandria Johnsons and you got a King Jives is because the church has failed us and people are not operating in the spirit, but they're operating in gifts. So what we do is tear up each other, we tear down each other, and we do our best to crucify each other, and we're always in competition. So now we, we're, we're good at looking good, but we're very bad at taking care of each other. So in order, in order for us to survive, we got to kill one another. In order for us to be successful, how, how good can you kill your neighbor? Y'all don't want to hear me. That's okay. Y'all don't hear me. You don't hear me. That's okay. That's okay. That's okay. But there are churches in Africa. There are churches in Africa that really want to feel the sincere move of God. Y'all come on now. There are churches in Africa that really want to feel the presence of God. And they ain't got time for no show.
Thais, there are people in California that don't even go to church no more because they don't feel the presence of God. What, what happened to, y'all, what happened to, what happened to all this sickness coming across the land and the church ain't got no power? Y'all, I'm just saying, the church, you either believe, oh, shoot, I forgot to put that stuff in my drink. Dang it. Y'all forgot to put my vitamin C in my drink. The church is supposed to possess the power. The church. The church is supposed, is supposed to possess the power of God. And you know, when this pandemic hit, it should have been a, a whole movement of the saints coming together, fasting and praying and calling on the name of the Lord. And we should have seen a shift take place in the land. Y'all, I'm, I'm, being, I'm being for real. I'm being so for real. It should have been a movement of the saints that is saying, God, protect us, your people. It should, I, have, I haven't watched Bishop Noah Jones' thing. I haven't watched it, so I don't know what he said. It should have been a movement, Thais. So if, if I'm saying what Bishop Noah Jones said, then I'm right there. It should have been a movement. Why is it that we lost 400,000 people? Why is it that we lost? Hold on, y'all. Why is it that we lost 400,000 people? Why is it that we as a church, why is it that we as a church have suffered so greatly? Now, let me, let me bring it on to my folks. Kojic, we have lost and still losing. And we're supposed to be the greatest church on this side of heaven. And we're still losing. That speaks to us as a church. That speaks to us as a church. That speaks to us as a church. That should speak to you. If we're constantly losing our leaders and our loved ones, that is a problem. So you mean to tell me that we are the greatest church in this country, in this world, and we do not have power? We ain't got no power? Right, Thais. So you mean to tell me this whole pandemic and all this other stuff going on and y'all so-called call yourselves prophets and carry on? And you did not prepare the people. Again, that's a problem. That's a problem. Because if we are so anointed. Come on here now. If we are so anointed. We missed it. If we are so anointed. We didn't see this. If we are so anointed. Where are the accurate men and women of God? I'm not going to play with y'all. If we are so anointed, y'all miss this. What happened to the people that would cry loud and spare not? Y'all so big and bold and y'all bout it, bout it. Y'all gangsters in the church and carrying on. What about being gangster for the Lord? What about being gangster for the souls of God? That is your mission. That is your call to be gangster for God. And you mean to tell me that should be your rebuke that you 
as a so-called prophet have set on your gift, have set on your anointing, and there have been souls that have died out here because you did not warn God's people. That's your rebuke. That is your rebuke. You are so, oh, you're a, you're prophet this and, and prophet that and prophet, 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 And 400,000 people have died on your watch. Huh? 400,000 people have died from the coronavirus and you did not say anything. All you got is a word from the God. Speaking in tongues and lying in English. Speaking in tongues and lying in English. Where? See, because when it comes down to the church, the church is the storehouse. The church is the hospital. That's what it is. And y'all ain't say nothing. Y'all ain't say nothing. You ain't say nothing. You, you, you ain't say nothing. You ain't say nothing. Let me rebuke my own black people. Brian, Todd, Juan, all the rest of y'all. What's that one in Atlanta with the with the straight hair? The black um Private Mosley, Mobley, Mosley. Y'all got prophet and arch prophet and the arch prophet and Bernard and all y'all. A real prophet of God does not care about people's feelings. When God speaks, he is specific. When God speaks, he is specific. Not Pacific, he is specific. God ain't got, he ain't bipolar. He ain't got Tourette's. He ain't retarded. When God speaks, he is specific. Y'all are so concerned with bringing people into your church that you're not concerned with the well-being of the saints, of the people, and their health, and their livelihoods. Y'all make it make sense. Y'all make it make sense. The church of God in Christ has churches all over the world. We have churches on every four corners of this world. And you mean to tell me that there is no power that we cannot save the people. We are the second largest church in this world. And you mean to tell me that we ain't got no oil, crease, grease, Crisco, pine, palm olive, Pam, that we can't come together and call down fire from heaven. Y'all make that make sense. Oh, y'all having prayer, but your lives don't line up. Y'all having prayer, but your prayer ain't reaching nowhere but the. The show tonight is, is I believe. I believe the show tonight, the heat show tonight is between 738, I believe. You mean to tell me we ain't got no power that that out of all these folks that didn't died that we couldn't have saved somebody? 
talk talk to me. Half y'all niggas y'all talk. Oh, that's my friend, but you'll never speak to me in public. Get out of here. Get out of here with that mess. You don't like me because I am controversial. I am controversial. London, inbox me. You don't like me because I'm controversial. And you don't like me because you don't want to acknowledge me in the public because you're scared of losing your position. But if me caring about the Saints is controversial and me caring about the well-being and the welfare of the people is controversial, then you don't need to be my friend. And you are no friend to God's people. You ain't no friend to God's people. You are no friend to God's people. Oh, I can't go over there and do no interview with Jives. Tice, I can't go and do no interview with Jives. Oh, I don't want to. Oh, yeah, because, yeah. Mm -hmm. They didn't want to come on the show because they were scared of their positions being, you know, oh, you went over there talking to Jives. Jives is concerned about the well-being of the church. Hey, Andre. Jives is concerned about the well-being of the church. And if that is not your focus, you, my dear sister, you, my dear brother, don't need to be in the pulpit yourself. Now, you make that make sense. Oh, oh. Oh, I, I'm too busy. Oh, I have something to do. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah. oh see, you don't need to go over there and talk to Jives because that, see, see, he's controversial. You don't want to lose your seat. If talking to Jives is going to make me lose my seat and Jives is only concerned about the well-being of the church at large. Maybe you don't need to be in the evangelism department. Maybe you don't need to be in the music department because you ain't singing nothing and you ain't singing no hymns that's giving God the glory. The only person getting glory is you. I'm just saying, I'm just making it plain. Baby, you ain't nothing but a bowl and a box of tinkering symbols. Hey, Fontaine, you are nothing but a loud box of tinkering symbols. All you can preach and you can holla. Woo, mm, yeah. You can do all of that. But God is not pleased with you because you don't care nothing about his people. So why would God be so pleased with you when you care nothing about his sheep whom he put you over? Hmm? Huh? Huh, saints, ain't and friends? Huh? Y'all said we got 12,000 members. 12 million. Huh, 12. Hmm. You said we got 12 million members. We got 12 million members. We can't even get a percentage of that on our lives. Let's, let's make that plain. Andre, we can't even get a percentage. We can't even get a percentage of Kojic online to watch the leaders minister. Why? Because the leaders ain't saying nothing. You're great storytellers. Yes, you are. Great storytellers. But you ain't saying nothing. Great storytellers. But ain't nobody being set free. Great storytellers. Don't nobody feel no anointing. You can tickle my emotions. 
but I'm going to still click off your live and don't feel convicted and don't, don't feel nothing. Where is the conviction? Why is it? Hello? Somebody tag Randy Walker in this. Somebody tag Randy Walker in this. Somebody tag Randy Walker. Prophet Randy, Apostle Randy Walker. Tag him in this. And what I'm about to say ain't got nothing to do with him. But it was just something he said earlier. I want him to hear this. I'm not here to pull tea. I'm not even here to tickle your fancy and tell you what this preacher got caught up in that. Listen here. My main thing is this, D. This is my thing. I call it as I see it. And I want you preachers to do right besides God's people. You say that God put you there. I want you to do right by his people. That should be your main goal is to make sure that the responsibility that he has placed in your hand, that you fulfill your oath. You fulfill your oath. That should be your main focus. That should be your main focus is that you fulfill the oath of God. When you pick up the mantle, y'all, I'm serious. I feel this thing right now. When you put on the mantle and call yourself prophet, apostles, bishops, you are carrying the burden of the Lord. And whatever sexual appetite that you have, it is on the cross. I can't go have sex like I want to. I used to or want to anymore because I'm carrying the burden of the Lord. We have forgot about that. This is the reason why so many preachers are getting caught up because they are getting so caught up in themselves that they have forgot. I am carrying a responsibility. I am carrying a mantle from God. And I got to make sure that God is pleased with me. Y'all little Negroes running around here. Don't want to talk to me because you scared your bishop going to be a traditional. Listen here. Let me tell you something. I've been this same way my entire life. I've been this same way my entire life. And I'm not going to change. I'm not going to change. When you carry the mantle of God, when you are carrying the assignment of God, you can't do what everybody else does. And if you do, you need to check your call. If you do, if you do, you need to check these things. Because how are we going to be God's leaders and we're constantly getting caught up in mess? Do you not care who you're representing? How are we going to be the called of God, the chosen of God, and we look just like the mess? The mess, M-E-S-S. -S. How are we going to be the anointed of God and we're doing the same thing that we're trying to pull the people from? Not walking in self-righteousness, but walking in righteousness. The Bible says, let your light so shine before men that they may see your good works and glorify the Father which is in heaven. Hallelujah. That's what it say. That's what it say. How can I let my light shine and I'm constantly being covered in mess? Hey, brother, we are so caught up in I'm apostolic or I'm Pentecostal, I'm Church of God in Christ. You can still go to hell if that's what you believe in. You can still go to hell. 
You not know it's going to be some apostolics in hell. It's going to be some church of God in Christ, folks, in hell. If that's what you believe. Y'all bug jumping. Y'all bug jumping and y'all tap dancing and y'all practicing these little cute little dancing can all and you still have not done anything. Nobody is being saved. Nobody is being set free. Nobody is being delivered. So regardless of whatever your organization is that you came from, you are still losing the race. You are still being lost. You don't like it. It's okay. But it's a sad day. It's a sad day, Morales. When every time I turn around, here's another preacher molesting young boys. Here's another preacher. She molesting young girls. Or they just molesting and running through all the children. Or they getting girls and women's and things pregnant all throughout the church. Or these preachers and everything got a whole group session. And now all of them got HIV and AIDS and care on. It's a sad day. It's a sad day, Paul. It's a sad day. When you got more debauchery going on in the house of God and the men and women of God than you do the folks out here in these streets. It's a sad day when there is more chaos and confusion going on in the house of God than it is out here in these folks out here in these streets. It's a sad day when more men and women in the church are taking advantage of the children than it is in, out here in these streets. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Miles, you remember we used to be on the phone and we used to just be having church by ourselves talking about the Lord? I feel that thing. I feel it. It's a sad day. It's a sad day when the people that have been in the house of God 50 years are walking away and going to the world trying to find God in the world. It's a sad day. It's a sad day. It's a sad day. It's a sad, it's a sad day, Thais. When the people, the mothers and fathers in the church are saying, forget this. I don't want it no more. It's a sad day when we have grown up in this great August body of people and this great gospel. And we have been lied to all these years. Now we go to the world trying to find God. Evangelist Parker, it is a sad day when you are caught up in titles and positions. It's a sad day when you're caught up in positions. It's a sad day when you're caught up in positions and you got your saints leaving the church in droves trying to go find God in the world. It's a sad day when the church has caused so much debauchery, hurt, and abuse. And now we're leaving the church to go to the world to get healed because of what the church has done to us. So whether, wherever you are around this world, wherever you are around this world, We need to repent as leaders. We need to repent as leaders because we have not done the job of God. We have not done the job of God. We have not done what Jesus left for us to do. And that is to feed the sheep, lead the sheep, protect the sheep. We have not done our job and God is not pleased. So you scared to come on my show, niece, daughter, you scared to come on my show.
But hear me today. God rebukes you. You want to say it the other way? God rebukes you in the name of Jesus. You have refused to do it his way. And you're so concerned with titles and positions. You're so concerned with pleasing man instead of pleasing God. The Bible says in Matthew, choose ye this day whom ye going to serve. Or serve God or mammon. Mammon is money. Choose ye this day whom you going to serve. You ain't doing God a no type of service. You ain't nothing but rags and tinkling symbols. Trying to hurry for my smoothie turn to water. Choose this day. But that's okay. Because thanks. Hear me. God is going to send you good leadership. God is going to... <laughs> God is going to send you good leadership. In all things, God still cares for us. What we have seen is what does not care for us. God has not forgot about us. He has not forgot about us. And there are people that still carry the burden of the Lord. There are people out here who are more concerned about God being pleased than man being pleased. And the reason why they ain't caught up in stuff is because they're looking at God and not man. Hey, angel. God shut all this stuff down. He shut all these, these churches and shut all these doors down because y'all on YouTube and Facebook Live and you still sound a mess and now your mess has been exposed because you ain't been preaching about nothing. You ain't been preaching about nothing. And now when your doors open back up, you ain't going to hardly have nobody coming in there because there is no oil, there is no anointing, there is nothing. There is no gifts, there is no anointing of God at all. And now you've been exposed because you've been raping God's people. You've been doing this mess, getting away with it. And you think God is pleased and he's not. And I'll go even further. I'll go even further, Morales. The people of God have been subjected to this mess. And God has sent you warning time after time. God has warned you even in your private time. You heard God speak. And yet and still, you ignored his voice. You ignored his voice. And since you ignored his voice, all these doors have been shut closed. And now you and your mess have been exposed. There is a changing of the guards. There is a changing of the guards. And God is not raising up people. He has raised up people to take your place. He has raised up people to take your place. And if the ones he's raised up to take your place ain't acting right, trust and believe me when I tell you. Trust me when I tell you this. He does still have a remnant. You don't want to act right. God in the Bible days, when, a, when a, uh, somebody who wasn't acting right went up in the temple and they was not right, baby, they fell dead. And we went ahead and changed you out with somebody else. This is that day. This is that hour. See, y'all don't like them type of prophets. Hmm? You don't like them type of prophets. Because them folks is scary. They don't talk much. But when they talk, they talk. They, they're not. Honey, real prophets. Real prophets, Morales. 
real prophets. How did, whoa, 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 whoa. How did we not lie, speaking in tongues and lying in English? Real prophets of God speak and move on. How did, ain't no, yo, whoa, 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 whoa. The Lord said, or thus said the Lord, or this is what I was given. I ain't got nothing else. Well, what you think? I ain't got nothing else. Well, did God, I ain't got nothing else. I ain't got nothing else for you. I ain't got nothing else. Real prophets. Real prophets. We don't need to shoko bobo, soto, do, 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 do. We ain't got to do all that. We ain't got to do all that. But real prophets speak and move on. Because it's not about the emotionalism. Thus said the Lord. Boom. All right. Y'all ordering that chicken over there? I just want to know what did thank the Lord. Hey, ma'am, I don't know. That's all. That's all he gave me. You know what it mean. Don't play with me. Don't act crazy. You know what it mean, niece. You know what it mean. Go on, bring me that chicken over there. I'm ready to eat because this woman was acting crazy. I don't know. I was just in. I was just in Sam's. Can I? Can I say that, Morales? I was just in Sam's. And I walked past this lady and the spirit of God fell on me and said, boom, 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 boom. You can't ask me no questions because I don't know. The spirit spoke and I left it right there. Boom. Hello. Hello. So all across the world. Africa, South America, China, Europe. Hey, Isaiah. Period. Period. Folks around here, Isaiah, talking about they prophets and carrying on and be lying and off and carrying on, sleeping with folks all throughout the church. God is not pleased. He is not pleased. And he is warning. And he is warning. And you keep playing, you're going to be the next one found dead. God is not playing. He is not playing. This disease that's running throughout the land, it is not a joke. We played church too long. We played church too long. Now, D, Samantha, <sighs> Roderick, we played church so long till we don't know when a real authentic move of God is being spoken or whatever. We played church too long. We've been shucking and jiving too long. We don't know the real from the fake. We have been playing too long. We've been playing too long. It's time for us to get right and get in our place. Oh, Morales, if the power of God hit like it used to, baby, you wouldn't know what to do. You wouldn't, you wouldn't know what to do. If the power of God would really hit the church like it used to, you wouldn't know what to do with it. The power of God is more than shake it in me, the under the deal, saya. It's more than speaking in tongues. The power of God comes to make change. In the words of Bishop G.E. Patterson, it comes to be healed, be delivered, and be set free. Whatever it is. Whatever it is. It's 
See y'all getting on here playing and talking crazy. Whatever it is. But we played with it. We played with it so long. We played church so long that now we're accustomed to playing church. Now we're accustomed to no move, no power. We're accustomed to sit. Yes, God. No, no, no. We're accustomed to it, right? We're accustomed to it, right? Oh, God. We're accustomed to it. We're accustomed to it. And y'all ain't feel, you don't feel nothing. Speaking your heavenly language. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Speak, speak now. Oh, the God, oh, the God. Somebody said, this is, baby, if you don't get your unfoolish self off here talking about this is mockery and blasphemy, if you missed everything that I said, sir, block me right now. Block me right now. Who almost said something? Want to talk about some mockery. Are you freaking kidding me? But y'all can sit up out here and you can play church. Are you for real? Are you freaking kidding me right? You can sit out here and play church. You can go to church and you got a title and a position. And you all here with the mess. Are you for real? You missed everything that I just said. And you get sensitive because I'm up here making fun of the foolishness that go on. You get real sick, boy. Woo, God. Let me let me go, y'all. Let me go. I, I'm not trying to cuss nobody out today. I ain't trying to cuss nobody out today. I ain't trying to do it. I'm, I'm right. I ain't going to do it, y'all. I ain't going to do it. Are you serious? Are you serious? Girl... Please block me. Please block me. Y'all be the very niggas that be on YouTube. I don't like him. Uh, uh. You missed the whole point. Have a wonderful day. God bless you. What you say don't bother me. Oh, yes, I, it bothered you, daughter. It bothered you. How did you just miss everything? I just, how did you just miss that? How did you, how did you miss, how, <laughs> woo, how did you miss that? How, how did he miss that? Out of everything I said, I'm over here talking about praise and worship music. That you can't even feel the power power of God in, and now you want to get sensitive. Oh, exactly what I'm saying. Exactly what I'm saying. Did you 
Y'all, <laughs> y'all, y'all, come back tonight, daughters, sons and daughters of God, nieces and nephews. Come on back tonight. Come on, come on back tonight. He wanted, he wanted them down low homosexuals. That's a self hating homosexual. That's what he is. I'm gonna be out here want to tell somebody you blasphemy. That 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 thing just got to me. I was doing real good up until that point. I was doing I, Paul. Paul, he was about to get cussed all the way out. I'm about to smooth out. Just woo. Woo! Just, woo, God. <laughs> Smooth. <laughs> Smooth out. Oh, he said, wow. Why are you still here? Niece, why are you still here? Y'all, this is... Hold on, what did my brother say? What did my brother say? Honey, his name is Roderick Woodson. Why are you here? Girl, I, I gotta go. I gotta go. Y'all, I'm telling you right now. I'm, I'm baby, I'm so tired. I am so tired of these men. Y'all be in church. You can't receive nothing that the person is saying. They say one thing that you already don't like, and here you go with the mess. Okay? Here you go with the mess. Child. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. Listen here. We're going to, y'all come back tonight. Come back tonight. Uh, we got, uh, we doing the heat show tonight. I'm done. He, uh, Penny, he ain't been taking my energy. I just, y'all, it be stuff like that. I just, I, I just got, I'm like, what? What? I got, y'all, I got, I got lost because I was like, wait, wait. Did you not? <laughs> what? <laughs> I got lost, y'all, because I was like, how you miss, how you, how you, <laughs> how you miss all I just, what? Hmm. Praise God. Anyways, God bless. I'll see y'all tonight, 7.30, 8 o'clock, okay? Peace. Block me, sir. Please do.